Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Balikish. Zabrateke toko soda balara balara boots. Let the scroll be opened. Let the mysteries be unveiled. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight we are going to be looking at the subject of deliverance and then i will be sharing with you we started last week i'm just giving you the course content for tonight's discussion we'll be looking at the subject of deliverance and then we'll also revisit again what i call access points helping you to understand the gateways that authorize darkness please listen you are listening for yourself you're listening for your families and for those following online regardless of what your perspectives are about the subject of deliverance give me a chance to bring you the word of god and let's look at it together uh, as always we are allowed to vet the quality of whatever is being communicated and to receive that which we believe is right but it's important to at least give a chance there are people once they hear they leave they don't even wait they just close their hearts and um, it's, it's going to be a dangerous experience if you just shut your heart at any dimension and any matter of the kingdom because Jesus himself addressed this subject so let's give ourselves a chance to be built by the Word of God I will be teaching on levels of satanic influence that will be the third discussion as God grants us grace I'll do my best to see that we end on time so that we can rest. We have a lot already tomorrow. Levels of satanic influence or satanic activities. We'll look at it. And then if God grants us grace and the time, we're able to manage time well, we will look at the flesh. Praise the Lord. Obadiah chapter 1 there's just one chapter and verse 17 let's begin our teaching for tonight Obadiah 1 and verse 17 but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance it's amazing where deliverance was meant to happen it was not meant to happen outside then if delivered you come to Mount Zion the fact that you experience deliverance is proof that you are standing upon Mount Zion are we together so this already tries to settle a very wrong notion that deliverance and etc should happen outside of the church outside of where God is then when you are delivered you now come God's system has always been come as you are and then you are made into what he wants you to be so upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions we began last week by saying that there is a relationship between the mystery and the ministry of deliverance and obtaining your possession notice from this scripture the Bible says it is their possession so it is not a possession that is someone else's and then it will be given to you it is your possession it is your inheritance are we together so there is no doubt to the fact that it is a it is it is allotted already for you but in order to possess it although it is your possession being your possession is one thing becoming a possessor of your possession is another thing are we together so um this is a very good platform to begin tonight's teaching the bible says 
the house of jacob shall possess their possession that means it is possible that they do not possess their possession it is your possession it is your inheritance but to come into the experience of that possession the bible says there is something that happens and that's what we are discussing what is deliverance let's discuss that subject what exactly is deliverance the bible is full of texts that talk about deliverance from the old testament the gospels the epistles and even in the book of revelation so what exactly is deliverance um let me give us a foundation and then i will give you my definition now the first thing i want you to know about deliverance please look up before you write is that um generally deliverance has to do with a system of rescue a system of freedom from maybe bondage danger i'm giving you the overall scope every time we mention the word deliverance it has to do with a system that provides rescue a system that provides freedom from bondage from danger and generally speaking from evil every time we talk about deliverance it has to do with rescue it has to do with emancipation it has to do with freedom from any of these three bondage danger and then generally speaking evil are we together let's look at two scriptures exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 i hope i'm right it says wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out the word bring you out there is the word deliverance i will deliver you from under the burdens of the egyptians and i will read you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments so we see different expressions here that relates to deliverance the lord is saying i will bring you out from their burdens i will read you out of their bondage i will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment why this is because of what happened in chapter 1 and verse 11 let's go to chapter 1 and 11 same exodus chapter 1 and verse 11 it says therefore they did set over them taskmasters listen carefully the purpose of the deliverance in chapter 6 is because of a situation that we find in chapter 1 that therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for pharaoh treasure cities python and Ramesses, all of the gods of egypt so they were they were subject to a system of labor a system of bondage and a burden what was the assignment to build cities for other gods are we together they were mandated as an act of affliction to build treasure cities where they kept the 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 booties that they had gotten from war and from oppressing neighboring nations and then to also build different tabernacles places of rest for all their gods and their idols and the lord said that i will bring you deliverance so before there is need for deliverance there must have been a system of bondage are we together that subjects men that subjects territories that subjects both animate and inanimate things to some sort of danger some sort of oppression and so on and so forth are we together let's look at colossians chapter one paul is teaching the church in Colossae. colossians chapter one verse 13 and 14 and then i would like to teach something very briefly here before we move on it says who hath delivered us talking about jesus now who hath delivered us from the power of darkness everybody say power of darkness notice the bible didn't just say he delivered us from darkness he delivered us from the power of darkness that means darkness is powerful darkness is a force it is very unwise to believe that 
um, all of these spiritual forces are not powerful we only say they are powerless relative to the superiority of God's intelligence and the power that is now in motion through the Christ are we together when you are contrasting darkness relative to the excellency of God's power his all-surpassing victory then it is valid to consider Satan and all his cohorts as powerless but relative to the spiritual advantage the plane from which these spirits operate it is very childish and immature to believe that they do not wield any kind of power and force on their own even a normal human being who can access the realm of the spirit any dimension higher than the three-dimensional realm has an advantage over one who does not sustain that uh, that ability are we together now i have taught you that any dimension you can access outside of the three-dimensional realm will provide you an advantage over the natural person scientists would tell us that even lower animals that we call lower have the ability to perceive danger and perceive reality that the normal man who is unrefined are we together cannot perceive is that true we see dogs we see animals respond to people some of them have very superior sense organs these are beings that are not empowered by any kind of spirit whatsoever yet they wield an advantage so it is it is i'm, I'm just buttressing on this to help us understand because you see one of the greatest challenges with the body of christ is we just copy everything we know we never take out time to allow the spirit of revelation to break down the truths that have been passed down from generation to generation just because we read it in a book and a senior man of god advocated it or certain people that represent pillars to the body most of them had the understanding but most of us just receive it as head knowledge and we teach it in bible schools so most believers just have the chaff of that knowledge there is no substance that backs up their conviction are we together so darkness is powerful paul is not ashamed to tell us in fact here's how jesus said it he said behold i give you power are we together that's luke 10 19 can we just run there and then return back to Colossians? Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Behold, I give you power. Listen, the word power there is not the Greek word dunamis. It's the word exousia. It's the word authority, right? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an authorization to legislate rather than the ability to by yourself cause change. Are we together? Behold, I give you exousia, authority to tread upon serpents, and upon scorpions and over how many all the power jesus himself is acknowledging that the enemy has power but that he has given you an ability to manifest and legislate above that power and then he says nothing shall by any means hurt you the only reason why nothing shall hurt you is because you are operating from a dimension that is higher than the existing that means if something is hurting you it means you are not accessing and working with that power or you do not have knowledge on how to put it to work are we together now god bless you so back to colossians chapter 1 and verse 13 i hope we are together who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and then the bible says hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son 14 in whom we have redemption through the blood even the forgiveness of sins so he's telling us the basis for that translation that the the possibility to be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son has happened on the basis of redemption and that by the blood are we together now so salvation is a form of deliverance the salvation that has been given believers today that we enjoy the bible does not just call it redemption alone the bible calls it deliverance what then is deliverance write this down i did my best to scrabble 
an intelligent definition that will capture everything that I believe the word of God um, says about deliverance. So let's, let's try and see if my definition makes sense. Ready? Deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of Christ or Jesus Christ. Don't worry, take it gradually. I will repeat myself. Deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of Jesus Christ. I'm going to continue. I'm just breaking so that you write. Let's take it again. Deliverance is a system for experientially underline the word experientially establishing the victory and authority of Jesus Christ can I continue over Satan comma demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of Jesus Christ over satan demons and all the powers of darkness over satan demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives by this definition we see that deliverance for a believer and the scriptural approach to deliverance is much more than the activity of physical exertion like a present day fight deliverance is concerned with establishing making a reality that has been finished to become your experience here and now are we together so that deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of Christ Jesus over Satan, demons, and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives. I wrote something small here that deliverance um, and then by extension spiritual warfare for the believer in Christ today is about establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting for it. Listen carefully. Our approach to the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare has to do with establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting to create it it's important that you have this understanding and this revelation alone will make all the difference in your approach to the subject of deliverance and the subject of spiritual warfare that you and I should approach the subject of deliverance from a perspective that seeks to establish and manifest the victory that is already wrought through the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ rather than an attempt to physically exert energy to fight and win as though it was a product of your own exertion I think this is this in itself I can dwell all night explaining this because this may be the reason why many many well-meaning individuals and by extension deliverance ministries get little or no victory out of the the abundance of the physical exertions many of us here may be victims of that experience so we are not talking about a state here where you fight for victory in terms of physically confronting Satan one on one as it were. I will tell you where that revelation came from. Are we blessed? So say after me deliverance for the believer has to do with establishing and manifesting authority over darkness rather than fighting for it are you getting the point now let me dramatize something here please come doctor come watch this you stand here and um, hold my book this is your inheritance this is your possession please look up I want to dramatize something that will help us you stand here 
and then ah, they are all ladies where are the gentlemen Sam come now watch this the Bible says and you have to understand this is where I think many people find confusion when the Bible when the Bible speaks look at this very carefully God speaks from the standpoint of eternity he does not speak as if he's talking within the frame of time are we together so in the speakings of God he always speaks with the expression of completion which is not a lie but then the dynamics of converting the prophetic realities that have been finished in Christ to now become the experience of the saints is where there is confusion are we together so the bible tells us from the foundation of the earth the lamb was slain but there are still people going to hell today are we together if the lord is to talk to you now if you were to see jesus jesus will look at you and tell you you should not be crying financially because you are walking in abundance that's how he talks but then you will think that he's being rude and sarcastic to you because at the point he's talking to you you may not even have five naira he cannot speak otherwise his his viewpoint spans he's not dimensional in his approach if he breaks himself to be dimensional it's an act of his mercy to help man understand him are we together that's why he's called alpha omega the word and there was just an expression to help us comprehend he is both the beginning and the end so to him there is nothing like beginning and end in his dimension that does not exist are you getting my point now so god can speak to you and say emeka finish the house by tomorrow whereas you don't even have land that's god speaking emeka finish the house by tomorrow and as at the time he's talking your landlord is waiting with a policeman in front of you and god will never talk about the landlord emeka i have given you your house and your key you will even see it in a vision god giving you key and you say thank you and then wake up from the vision with a, a rude knock from the door by an angry landlord now how do i reconcile what i have seen because god will not change he speaks once it is only you that hears twice the first hearing is the hearing of the flesh the second hearing is now the hearing of the spirit that brings understanding once have i spoken but you need to hear twice because the first hearing is from a carnal point but then the holy spirit now helps you to have the ear that the bible says he that hath an ear the second kind of ear you now hear from the spirit the hearing that brings understanding that's why the bible says faith comes by hearing but there is a superior hearing hearing now not just by your senses by the word of god are you understanding what i'm teaching you now so this guy is now confused and he's saying in the realm of the spirit the lord spoke to me and said i have given you abundance yet nothing is happening and then the lord appears to you and you're trying to say oh lord look at all the demons and the witches and then the lord tells you something like my grace is sufficient or my victory is still in force and you wake up and you are like oh god how can you be speaking like this whereas in experience that's what paul was trying to teach the church in hebrew he was quoting from psalm 5 what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him the bible says you have made him lower than elohim are we together you have crowned him with glory and honor you have set him above the works of your hands and that in doing that you did not leave anything under his feet but he creates a dimension he said but as it is today we do not yet see experience so you must be able to balance between the prophetic communications of the spirit the prophetic communications of the word and the experiential manifestation of the same in your life otherwise you will die like a chicken quoting the word of god between the prophetic speakings of god and the manifestation in your life there is a mystery that connects them and those who have this are the ones who become possessors it is your possession in christ but it takes an understanding of what to do to make it your possession here forever O lord thy word is settled where 
he never said in your life thy word is settled in heaven it will take engaging these mysteries to make the word settled in your life ah your help has come this this is already a deliverance for someone because for many years you kept jumping oh my god i see victory jesus said it is finished everything is all right wonderful amazing my life is full of beauty and glory you are not lying but after 10 years 15 years your father said this thing and while he was saying it sickness was eating him up till he died i, I don't want you to feel bad i'm not trying to be sarcastic are we together you said this yourself and after 10 years there's nothing in your life that demonstrates the victory of christ and some out of that frustration will just say this is a lie no it's not a lie forever your word is settled but to know how to make it our experience one of the mysteries that have been allocated by the wisdom of god to make spiritual realities that are established in the christ to manifest in our life is called the mystery of deliverance are you getting the point now it is not the only kingdom mystery i've taught you many of them we're approaching one of them now this gentleman wants to possess his possession this is a son of jacob he's read obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 he's believed are we together now because the bible says whoever believes our reports the arm of the lord will be made manifest in his life now this brother believes but every time standing between him and that inheritance just turn to face me sam is an obstacle this brother has read in the bible that we have been translated colossians 1 13. it didn't say we will be the bible says we have been but he's seen something that is is a cause in his life watch this this guy knows the word of god i hope you understand that he has believed he's a worker in church and he has seen that every time people get to the edge the edge of breakthrough something happens now he said in the name of jesus i don't believe this i am exempted and to his shock regardless of that confession his life is still a victim of it that thing happens as if the thing didn't hear him hmm. are you getting what i'm saying now please listen very carefully okay this guy comes from a family where everybody is barren i'm sorry sorry for this are we together everyone is barren and now he makes up his mind no it is god that makes everyone a fruitful i mean he can make the wilderness to be fruitful you know children are inherited from the lord now he has confessed that he has done that well and it is true but in experience now he gets married and to his shock he finds out that his wife cannot get pregnant and he says no the devil is just joking let me just release my faith and you watch what happens one month becomes one year becomes two years becomes decades becomes 20 years and the man is angry by 75 and he's no longer believing in jesus and when you come to him as a zealous young man what giant from koinonia man of god since i was blind say if you don't get out of here i will slap you i spent 60 years forcing the word to work my conclusion is that god alongside all the scammers called preachers are liars some of us that person i just described may be your father may be your mother they will show you pictures of them and reinhard bonke when he was young and tell you i and tear it in your presence and say i don't believe all that junk again the frustration that comes you come from a family that is full of poverty and goodness you found the truth and you are happy you are rejoicing over it and all of a sudden you find out that you are now a graduate and your elder sisters are looking at you and say we graduated 15 years ago none of us the highest among us just got a contract job for one week and it was over and you come and say it's because you know how arrogant we are young people when we are just touching revelation we mock at others and laugh and say oh sisters it's because of the church you are going to me i'm going to koinonia wait and see what happens then you are a graduate and you celebrate the first christmas as a graduate with no job it touches you and you pretend i don't know i think god is working something powerful after you dance and sing and do what you know to do by five years you now sit with them in a discussion and you are like ah, ah, 
so this this thing is true this is why my mother was not happy this is why my father was not happy this series is saving you many of you many of you are already going through what i'm saying now and if you don't open your eyes and your ears to listen to the way out you will be very frustrated how about men of god like our sister shared who come from terrible families with idol worship and then they get born again filled with the holy spirit and begin to walk in strange miracles and start a ministry and say oh god god forbid i mean i used to be from a family of idol worship now i'm free and the guy begins his ministry after five years he finds out that the members go down everything goes down an attack comes on him and the ministry and he goes to tell his uncle and the uncle laughs and say why do you think i stopped being a pastor because i was once a pastor were you told say no so well let me educate you i was once a pastor the crusade that happened in this city i was the chairman organizing committee the same thing that happened you would try to argue and say uncle my own is not like your own he say you he says it's the same thing it's there and then many of you now just like i was stand and you are confused you say no no let me go back to the bible and you still see it there and have translated us from the kingdom of darkness and have translated us not will translate and have translated us many of you rush and come to us men of god and say sir i read here and have translated me i believed everything you said why is my life like this listen to what we tell you you don't have faith or you really don't believe it i if you be, look at me i'm rich i'm entering a jeep so he said i'm okay money can deceive to think just because you have a jeep and you have a nice watch you are free no there are many other dimensions you don't have to be delivered to be rich there are many people under yokes of darkness that are millionaires so be careful lest you use money the reason is because money has a very funny way of making your needs met so it can lie to you to think just because you don't see any obvious need yet you are free we have used money for a long time in the body to mean that i am free and say what's the proof look at my estate look at five cars look at a flourishing church does that look like someone under oppression my helpers reading volumes of books i went to almost every bookstore i could find and gathered books i read books to prepare myself on fire i was seeing the power of god move through my life i was having encounters and then to my greatest shock in the midst of that spiritual height demons come to me regardless i mean i started quoting scriptures from secondary school you would receive awards there were 52 scriptures if you could quote they would give you an award i don't know how many times i got that award and you would think how then should i hide the word in my heart to quote 52 scriptures every year new ones i'm not talking of old ones i could quote chapters of the bible and here comes demons into my room and i'm shouting in jesus name the blood of jesus and they are not moving i'm saying in the name of jesus i'm a child of god and they are not moving <sighs> who will i tell this who will believe me god are you have you suddenly become weak listen when you see me just stand to talk and demons are crying find out what happened i want to show you where the problem is these demons will press my neck the anointing didn't leave me the anointing is still there the same way elisha died of sickness 
with the healing anointing still in his bones why didn't the anointing work while he was deteriorating to death yet the anointing raised a dead body who didn't have faith the dead body was not begging please raise me just he came in contact with bones couldn't the anointing bring back flesh like ezekiel 37 because we know it's a possibility so why didn't the anointing bring back the prophet again there are mysteries in this kingdom what you do not know you can argue to your detriment it will smash you into pieces like it's happening to many people we are just not honest to confront truth until we find light for me i i pray that god will make you like me i don't hear yes sir i keep searching until the truth is found many of you you see when the holy spirit refuses to allow an answer satisfy you is because there is a grace in that area he wants you to reveal to the body so you come to a man of god you come to me or anybody and we just give you explanations uh, to manage our ego and the holy spirit to say no no with all honor that's not the answer he's telling you find out so that you can help someone if i didn't pass through what i pass through now i probably will wave this teaching like many are waving and say look let's just focus on jesus and you are focusing on jesus but you are seeing that something is wrong everything the word of god declares is true it is the system for accessing it we do not know and what we have been taught is not wrong but is largely incomplete this series is to give you the balance you hear testimonies of people already look at the pastors with their churches look at the gentlemen that came someone from us just gets up another person just sends 4.5 you think the person doesn't have relatives in need doesn't he have brothers and sisters who are looking for 30,000 and he can't help them and then come somewhere I told you John what just follow me by now this brother is frustrated oh God give me my possession and he comes and he says man of God I'm still waiting and I said don't worry Abraham waited 25 years what what are you complaining about your small boy come on just be paid and I start getting angry you are getting rude you are challenging my anointing my anointing is angry with you I will curse you you see that and the brother leaves me quietly and goes back and he knows something is wrong I'm not being sarcastic I love the body listen carefully there must be an answer to this that answer is what will bring about the experience of possessing your possession that even even the critic in your life will know that the hand of God this brought place of encounter with the Holy Spirit and transformation by the principles of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's raise our hands to the heavens and give the Lord all the praise and all the worship. Father, take all the worship belongs to you mighty God thank you bless his name from the depth of your heart bless his name with everything that is within you hallelujah hallelujah Lord let the fire that comes from your word fall upon my life tonight lift your voice and pray let the fire that comes from your word lift your voice and please pray please pray oh 
Let the fire that comes from your word fall upon me. Please be seated and be as sensitive as you can be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like you to be seated, be very prayerful while you are seated, be very sensitive. Let your heart be open because of what the Lord will be doing tonight. We are shifting deeper into this mystery that I'm showing you and I have already seen that which the Lord will be doing tonight and that's why I'm saying be sensitive in your spirit hallelujah father tonight in the name of Jesus we pray that your power your light your grace will prevail over us we pray that your word will dispel every darkness let there be such a demonstration of the power of light over darkness i pray oh god that age-long captivities will come on their knees tonight open us to the mysteries of the spirit let there be a performance in the name of jesus christ mm. hallelujah let me just make one or two announcements and then we'll go into the word of God tonight's word will come with fire fire every time most times when the Lord wants to reveal to me how the meeting will be he will use one of the emblems of the supernatural to signify what he's doing and while I prayed I saw fire that's what I saw fire is one of the elements of the supernatural they are the there are five elements that God manifests himself with there is the earth there is light there is water and so I know that God is doing great things tonight and we bless God for the worship team and that which they did tonight please take it high for me we started a series last week examining the subject of deliverance and um, I must confess to you that there's so much to teach especially when you dapple into this subject and um, my focus please let me have your attention my focus is not necessarily to give us a thorough exegesis on the subject of demonology but I'm limiting the context of my teaching in this series just to the aspects of deliverance there's something that I want us to understand about the nature and the character of deliverance are we together so i have edited a number of things and um, we may not go into certain very deep details like the origin of satan the pre-adamites the nephilims uh, sons of belial and all of these other things that help to extensively talk about the kingdom of darkness i hope that in another series we'll get to it but um, i just want to show us um, the the deliverance dimension that's that's just where i want us to focus on and then to help us understand and appreciate a few things let us also take note that the motif behind this series is to help to create intelligence in the area of deliverance i think that um, 
there is a lot of gap in knowledge which stems from ignorance or exaggeration and so we're hoping to create a system of balance many in an attempt to scorn at the subject have become victims of what only this subject can set them free from and like the dear lady shared when she was here and then others um, in an attempt to focus on it have pushed it beyond its boundary of relevance and their whole lives regardless of supposed deliverance does not show anything around the victory of Christ so there is always a need to put everything in context are we good tonight hold hands while you're seated and let's just pray in the spirit to open up our capacity for spiritual understanding we pray in the spirit so that our spirits will be alive and our minds will be receptive to the truths of God's word let the scroll be opened let the mysteries be unveiled hallelujah praise the lord tonight we are going to be looking at the subject of deliverance and then i will be sharing with you we started last week i'm just giving you the course content for tonight's discussion we'll be looking at the subject of deliverance and then we'll also revisit again what i call access points helping you to understand the gateways that authorize darkness please listen you're listening for yourself you're listening for your families and for those following online regardless of what your perspectives are about the subject of deliverance give me a chance to bring you the word of god and let's look at it together uh, as always we are allowed to vet the quality of whatever is being communicated and to receive that which we believe is right but it's important to at least give a chance there are people once they hear they leave they don't even wait they just close their hearts and um, it's, it's going to be a dangerous experience if you just shut your heart at any dimension and any matter of the kingdom because jesus himself addressed this subject so let's give ourselves a chance to be built by the word of god i will be teaching on levels of satanic influence that will be the third discussion as god grants us grace i'll do my best to see that we end on time so that we can rest we have a lot already tomorrow levels of satanic influence or satanic activities would we'll look at it and then if god grants us grace and the time we're able to manage time well we will look at the flesh praise the lord obadiah chapter one there's just one chapter and verse 17 let's begin our teaching for tonight obadiah one and verse 17 but upon mount zion shall be deliverance it's amazing where deliverance was meant to happen it was not meant to happen outside then if delivered you come to mount zion the fact that you experience deliverance is proof that you are standing upon Mount Zion. Are we together? So this already tries to settle a very wrong notion that deliverance and etc. should happen outside of the church, outside of where God is. Then when you are delivered, you now come. God's system has always been come as you are and then you are made into what he wants you to be. So upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. 
and the house of jacob shall possess their possessions we began last week by saying that there is a relationship between the mystery and the ministry of deliverance and obtaining your possession notice from this scripture the bible says it is their possession so it is not a possession that is someone else's and then it will be given to you it is your possession it is your inheritance are we together so there is no doubt to the fact that it is a it is it is allotted already for you but in order to possess it although it is your possession being your possession is one thing becoming a possessor of your possession is another thing are we together so um this is a very good platform to begin tonight's teaching the bible says the house of jacob shall possess their possession that means it is possible that they do not possess their possession it is your possession it is your inheritance but to come into the experience of that possession the bible says there is something that happens and that's what we are discussing what is deliverance let's discuss that subject what exactly is deliverance the bible is full of texts that talk about deliverance from the old testament the gospels the epistles and even in the book of revelation so what exactly is deliverance um let me give us a foundation and then i will give you my definition now the first thing i want you to know about deliverance please look up before you write is that um generally deliverance has to do with a system of rescue a system of freedom from maybe bondage danger i'm giving you the overall scope every time we mention the word deliverance it has to do with a system that provides rescue a system that provides freedom from bondage from danger and generally speaking from evil every time we talk about deliverance it has to do with rescue it has to do with emancipation it has to do with freedom from any of these three bondage danger and then generally speaking evil are we together let's look at two scriptures exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 i hope i'm right it says wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out the word bring you out there is the word deliverance I will deliver you from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will read you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments so we see different expressions here that relates to deliverance the Lord is saying I will bring you out from their burdens I will read you out of their bondage I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment why this is because of what happened in chapter 1 and verse 11 let's go to chapter 1 and 11 same exodus chapter 1 and verse 11 it says therefore they did set over them taskmasters listen carefully the purpose of the deliverance in chapter 6 is because of a situation that we find in chapter 1 that therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities Python and Ramesses all of the gods of Egypt so they were they were subject to a system of labor a system of bondage and a burden what was the assignment to build cities for other gods are we together they were mandated as an act of affliction to build treasure cities where they kept the 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 booties that they had gotten from war and from oppressing neighboring nations and then to also build different tabernacles places of rest for all their gods and their idols and the lord said that i will bring you deliverance so before there is need for deliverance there must have been a system of bondage are we together that subjects men 
that subjects territories that subjects both animate and inanimate things to some sort of danger some sort of oppression and so on and so forth are we together let's look at colossians chapter one paul is teaching the church in Colossae. colossians chapter one verse 13 and 14 and then i would like to teach something very briefly here before we move on it says who hath delivered us talking about jesus now who hath delivered us from the power of darkness everybody say power of darkness notice the bible didn't just say he delivered us from darkness he delivered us from the power of darkness that means darkness is powerful darkness is a force it is very unwise to believe that um, all of these spiritual forces are not powerful we only say they are powerless relative to the superiority of God's intelligence and the power that is now in motion through the Christ are we together when you are contrasting darkness relative to the excellency of God's power his all-surpassing victory then it is valid to consider Satan and all his cohorts as powerless but relative to the spiritual advantage the plane from which these spirits operate it is very childish and immature to believe that they do not wield any kind of power and force on their own even a normal human being who can access the realm of the spirit any dimension higher than the three-dimensional realm has an advantage over one who does not sustain that uh, that ability are we together now i have taught you that any dimension you can access outside of the three-dimensional realm will provide you an advantage over the natural person scientists would tell us that even lower animals that we call lower have the ability to perceive danger and perceive reality that the normal man who is unrefined are we together cannot perceive is that true we see dogs we see animals respond to people some of them have very superior sense organs these are beings that are not empowered by any kind of spirit whatsoever yet they wield an advantage so it is it is i'm, I'm just buttressing on this to help us understand because you see one of the greatest challenges with the body of christ is we just copy everything we know we never take out time to allow the spirit of revelation to break down the truths that have been passed down from generation to generation just because we read it in a book and a senior man of god advocated it or certain people that represent pillars to the body most of them had the understanding but most of us just receive it as head knowledge and we teach it in bible schools so most believers just have the chaff of that knowledge there is no substance that backs up their conviction are we together so darkness is powerful paul is not ashamed to tell us in fact here's how jesus said it he said behold i give you power are we together that's luke 10 19 can we just run there and then return back to Colossians Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 behold I give you power listen the word power there is not the Greek word dunamis is the word exousia is the word authority right uh, is is a is an authorization to legislate rather than the ability to by yourself cause change are we together behold I give you exousia authority to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over how many all the power jesus himself is acknowledging that the enemy has power but that he has given you an ability to manifest and legislate above that power and then he says nothing shall by any means hurt you the only reason why nothing shall hurt you is because you are operating from a dimension that is higher than the existing that means if something is hurting you it means you are not accessing and working with that power or you do not have knowledge on how to put it to work are we together now god bless you so back to colossians chapter 1 and verse 13 i hope we are together who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and then the bible says hath translated us into 
the kingdom of his dear son 14 in whom we have redemption through the blood even the forgiveness of sins so he's telling us the basis for that translation that the the possibility to be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son has happened on the basis of redemption and that by the blood are we together now so salvation is a form of deliverance the salvation that has been given believers today that we enjoy the bible does not just call it redemption alone the bible calls it deliverance what then is deliverance write this down i did my best to scrabble an intelligent definition that will capture everything that i believe the word of god um says about deliverance so let's let's try and see if my definition makes sense ready deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of christ or jesus christ don't worry take it gradually i will repeat myself deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of jesus christ i'm going to continue i'm just breaking so that you write let's take it again deliverance is a system for experientially underline the word experientially establishing the victory and authority of jesus christ can i continue over satan comma demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of jesus christ over satan demons and all the powers of darkness over satan demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives by this definition we see that deliverance for a believer and the scriptural approach to deliverance is much more than the activity of physical exertion like a present day fight deliverance is concerned with establishing making a reality that has been finished to become your experience here and now are we together so that deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of christ jesus over satan demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives i wrote something small here that deliverance um and then by extension spiritual warfare for the believer in christ today is about establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting for it listen carefully our approach to the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare has to do with establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting to create it it's important that you have this understanding and this revelation alone will make all the difference in your approach to the subject of deliverance and the subject of spiritual warfare that you and i should approach the subject of deliverance from a perspective that seeks to establish and manifest the victory that is already wrought through the substitutionary sacrifice of christ rather than an attempt to physically exert energy to fight and win as though it was a product of your own exertion i think this is this in itself i can dwell all night explaining this because this may be the reason why many many well-meaning individuals and by extension deliverance ministries get little or no victory out of the the abundance of the physical exertions many of us here may be victims of that experience 
so we're not talking about a state here where you fight for victory in terms of physically confronting satan one on one as it were i will tell you where that revelation came from are we blessed so say after me deliverance for the believer has to do with establishing and manifesting authority over darkness rather than fighting for it are you getting the point now let me dramatize something here please come doctor come watch this you stand here and um, hold my book this is your inheritance this is your possession please look up i want to dramatize something that will help us you stand here and then ah they are all ladies where are the gentlemen sam come now watch this the bible says and you have to understand this is where i think many people find confusion when the bible when the bible speaks look at this very carefully god speaks from the standpoint of eternity he does not speak as if he's talking within the frame of time are we together so in the speakings of god he always speaks with the expression of completion which is not a lie but then the dynamics of converting the prophetic realities that have been finished in christ to now become the experience of the saints is where there is confusion are we together so the bible tells us from the foundation of the earth the lamb was slain but there are still people going to hell today are we together if the lord is to talk to you now if you were to see jesus jesus will look at you and tell you you should not be crying financially because you are walking in abundance that's how he talks but then you will think that he's being rude and sarcastic to you because at the point he's talking to you you may not even have five naira he cannot speak otherwise his his viewpoint spans he's not dimensional in his approach if he breaks himself to be dimensional it's an act of his mercy to help man understand him are we together that's why he's called alpha omega the word and there was just an expression to help us comprehend he is both the beginning and the end so to him there is nothing like beginning and end in his dimension that does not exist are you getting my point now so god can speak to you and say emeka finish the house by tomorrow whereas you don't even have land that's god speaking emeka finish the house by tomorrow and as at the time he's talking your landlord is waiting with a policeman in front of you and god will never talk about the landlord emeka i have given you your house and your key you will even see it in a vision god giving you key and you say thank you and then wake up from the vision with a, a rude knock from the door by an angry landlord now how do i reconcile what i have seen because god will not change he speaks once it is only you that hears twice the first hearing is the hearing of the flesh the second hearing is now the hearing of the spirit that brings understanding once have i spoken but you need to hear twice because the first hearing is from a carnal point but then the holy spirit now helps you to have the ear that the bible says he that has an ear the second kind of ear you now hear from the spirit the hearing that brings understanding that's why the bible says faith comes by hearing but there is a superior hearing hearing now not just by your senses by the word of god are you understanding what i'm teaching you now so this guy is now confused and he's saying in the realm of the spirit the lord spoke to me and said i have given you abundance yet nothing is happening and then the lord appears to you and you are trying to say oh lord look at all the demons and the witches and then the lord tells you something like my grace is sufficient or my victory is still in force and you wake up and you are like oh god how can you be speaking like this whereas in experience that's what paul was trying to teach the church in hebrew he was quoting from psalm 5 what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him the bible says you have made him lower than elohim 
are we together you have crowned him with glory and honor you have set him above the works of your hands and that in doing that you did not leave anything under his feet but he creates a dimension he said but as it is today we do not yet see experience so you must be able to balance between the prophetic communications of the spirit the prophetic communications of the word and the experiential manifestation of the same in your life otherwise you will die like a chicken quoting the word of god between the prophetic speakings of god and the manifestation in your life there is a mystery that connects them and those who have this are the ones who become possessors it is your possession in christ but it takes an understanding of what to do to make it your possession here forever O oh lord thy word is settled where it never said in your life thy word is settled in heaven it will take engaging these mysteries to make the word settled in your life ah your help has come this this is already a deliverance for someone because for many years you kept jumping oh my god i see victory jesus said it is finished everything is all right wonderful amazing my life is full of beauty and glory you are not lying but after 10 years 15 years your father said this thing and while he was saying it sickness was eating him up till he died i, I don't want you to feel bad i'm not trying to be sarcastic are we together you said this yourself and after 10 years there's nothing in your life that demonstrates the victory of christ and some out of that frustration will just say this is a lie no it's not a lie forever your word is settled but to know how to make it our experience one of the mysteries that have been allocated by the wisdom of god to make spiritual realities that are established in the christ to manifest in our life is called the mystery of deliverance are you getting the point now it is not the only kingdom mystery i've taught you many of them we're approaching one of them now this gentleman wants to possess his possession this is a son of jacob he's read obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 he's believed are we together now because the bible says whoever believes our reports the arm of the lord will be made manifest in his life now this brother believes but every time standing between him and that inheritance just turn to face me sam is an obstacle this brother has read in the bible that we have been translated colossians 1 13. it didn't say we will be the bible says we have been but he's seen something that is is a cause in his life watch this this guy knows the word of god i hope you understand that he has believed he's a worker in church and he has seen that every time people get to the edge the edge of breakthrough something happens now he said in the name of jesus i don't believe this i am exempted and to his shock regardless of that confession his life is still a victim of it that thing happens as if the thing didn't hear him hmm. are you getting what i'm saying now please listen very carefully okay this guy comes from a family where everybody is barring i'm sorry sorry for this are we together everyone is barren and now he makes up his mind no it is god that makes everyone a fruitful i mean he can make the wilderness to be fruitful you know children are heritage from the lord now he has confessed that he has done that well and it is true but in experience now he gets married and to his shock he finds out that his wife cannot get pregnant and he says no the devil is just joking let me just release my faith and you watch what happens one month becomes one year becomes two years becomes decades becomes 20 years and the man is angry by 75 and he's no longer believing in jesus and when you come to him as a zealous young man what giant from koinonia man of god since i was blind say if you don't get out of here i will slap you i spent 60 years forcing the word to work my conclusion is that god alongside all the scammers called preachers are liars some of us that person i just described may be your father may be your mother they will show you pictures of them and reinhard bonke when he was young and tell you i and tear it in your presence and say i don't believe all that junk again the frustration that comes 
you come from a family that is full of poverty and goodness you found the truth and you are happy you are rejoicing over it and all of a sudden you find out that you are now a graduate and your elder sisters are looking at you and say we graduated 15 years ago none of us the highest among us just got a contract job for one week and it was over and you come and say it's because you know how arrogant we are young people when we are just touching revelation we mock at others and laugh and say oh sisters it's because of the church you are going to me i'm going to koinonia wait and see what happens then you are a graduate and you celebrate the first christmas as a graduate with no job it touches you and you pretend i don't know i think god is working something powerful after you dance and sing and do what you know to do by five years you now sit with them in a discussion and you're like ah, ah. so this this thing is true this is why my mother was not happy this is why my father was not happy this series is saving you many of you many of you are already going through what i'm saying now and if you don't open your eyes and your ears to listen to the way out you will be very frustrated how about men of god like our sister shared who come from terrible families with idol worship and then they get born again feel the holy spirit and begin to walk in strange miracles and start a ministry and say oh god god forbid i mean i used to be from a family of idol worship now i'm free and the guy begins his ministry after five years he finds out that the members go down everything goes down an attack comes on him and the ministry and he goes to tell his uncle and the uncle laughs and say why do you think i stopped being a pastor because i was once a pastor were you told say no so well let me educate you i was once a pastor the crusade that happened in this city i was the chairman organizing committee the same thing that happened you would try to argue and say uncle my own is not like your own he say you he say it's the same thing it's there and then many of you now just like i was stand and you are confused you say no no let me go back to the bible and you still see it there and have translated us from the kingdom of darkness and have translated us not will translate and have translated us many of you rush and come to us men of god and say sir i read here and have translated me i believed everything you said why is my life like this listen to what we tell you you don't have faith or you really don't believe it i if you be, look at me i'm rich i'm entering a jeep so he said i'm okay money can deceive to think just because you have a jeep and you have a nice watch you are free no there are many other dimensions you don't have to be delivered to be rich there are many people under yokes of darkness that are millionaires so be careful lest you use money the reason is because money has a very funny way of making your needs met so it can lie to you to think just because you don't see any obvious need yet you are free we have used money for a long time in the body to mean that i am free and say what's the proof look at my estate look at five cars look at a flourishing church does that look like someone under oppression my helpers reading volumes of books i went to almost every bookstore i could find and gathered books i read books to prepare myself on fire i was seeing the power of god move through my life i was having encounters and then to my greatest shock in the midst of that spiritual height demons come to me regardless i mean i started quoting scriptures from secondary school you would receive awards there were 52 scriptures if you could quote they would give you an award i don't know how many times i got that award and you would think how then should i hide the word in my heart 
to quote 52 scriptures every year new ones i'm not talking of old ones i could quote chapters of the bible and here comes demons into my room and i'm shouting in jesus name the blood of jesus and they are not moving i'm saying in the name of jesus i'm a child of god and they are not moving <sighs> who will i tell this who will believe me god are you have you suddenly become weak listen when you see me just stand to talk and demons are crying find out what happened i want to show you where the problem is these demons will press my neck the anointing didn't leave me the anointing is still there the same way elisha died of sickness with the healing anointing still in his bones why didn't the anointing work while he was deteriorating to death yet the anointing raised a dead body who didn't have faith the dead body was not begging please raise me just he came in contact with bones couldn't the anointing bring back flesh like ezekiel 37 because we know it's a possibility so why didn't the anointing bring back the prophet again there are mysteries in this kingdom what you do not know you can argue to your detriment it will smash you into pieces like it's happening to many people we are just not honest to confront truth until we find light for me i i pray that god will make you like me i don't hear yes sir i keep searching until the truth is found many of you you see when the holy spirit refuses to allow an answer satisfy you is because there is a grace in that area he wants you to reveal to the body so you come to a man of god you come to me or anybody and we just give you explanations uh, to manage our ego and the holy spirit will say no no with all honor that's not the answer he's telling you find out so that you can help someone if i didn't pass through what i pass through now i probably will wave this teaching like many are waving and say look let's just focus on jesus and you are focusing on jesus but you are seeing that something is wrong everything the word of god declares is true it is the system for accessing it we do not know and what we have been taught is not wrong but is largely incomplete this series is to give you the balance you hear testimonies of people already look at the pastors with their churches look at the gentlemen that came someone from us just gets up another person just sends 4.5 you think the person doesn't have relatives in need doesn't he have brothers and sisters who are looking for thirty thousand, and he can't help them and then come somewhere i told you you're just follow me by now this brother is frustrated oh god give me my possession and he comes and he says man of god i'm still waiting and i said don't worry abraham waited 25 years what what are you complaining about there is more boy come on just be paid and i start getting angry you are getting rude you are challenging my anointing my anointing is angry with you i will curse you you see that and the brother leaves me quietly and goes back and he knows something is wrong I'm not being sarcastic I love the body listen carefully there must be an answer to this that answer is what will bring about the experience of possessing your possession that even even the critic in your life will know that the hand of God this brother has caught this this sister has caught this I prayed to God eh? and I told God I said by the time Lord we finish this series let us hear of testimonies that people will stand up and say no this is this is if not because the person sharing it is there we will think it's a lie or stage manage I told you last week you can know that deliverance has happened to a person and a family by the speed that's where you know that those realities have been piled up in the spirit for many years and it's usually an avalanche overnight doors liftings all kinds of things happen do you believe that a woman who should have had six children and has been barren for six years or for 10 years or 20 years you think it's one child that will come at once right. by the time god shifts that barrier you will be surprised the kind of testimonies that will surprise you 
you believe that a man that has been grounded by witchcraft for decades the only testimony he will get is a new job that gives him thirty thousand. when will he recover no that's not the kind of testimony that follows deliverance the kind of testimony that follows deliverance is a sign and a wonder god makes a statement that i can in delivering you restore the years the canker worm the palma worm you should be married 20 years ago but then i move and give you triplets two times six children at once upon mount zion there shall be deliverance whatever it is and when that happens the sons of jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah so this brother is standing then he takes an aggressive step watch this and then his eyes is open in the spirit watch this and he sees a spirit appear to him and tell him you will never make it but the bible says behold i give you power so satan where did you even get the audacity to show up in my room remember your room is anointed remember there's a bottle of anointing oil in that room don't forget remember there's a communion set in that room are you getting what i'm saying remember while the demon is talking to you a bible is on your bed have you forgotten sometimes a worship song is even playing yet he shows up no invitation he didn't knock the door and talks nonsense to you and all of a sudden he leaves who will i tell this to i can't tell apostle because i, I will keep quiet and that's how many of us have been keeping quiet as a man of god you finish preaching in a crusade and go back in the night and a spirit comes to molest you to even sleep with you you get up in the morning who will i tell this embarrassing thing and while you are sitting someone comes for counseling counseling number one man of god there is a demon that comes to sleep with me every night you almost want to run away because that's your own experience too it will shock you that you will lay hands on the person and he will start manifesting and be free and you just wave the person and then return back and say my god now oh god who will deliver me Ay 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 Ebeniza Ebeniza Ay 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 Ebeniza my pastor Hallelujah Please go and sit down guys let's talk now why why does it look like there is a an extreme difficulty for the saints to make manifest the realities remember the bible says he that did not spare his son are we bible students that he that did not spare his son but offered him up for us will he not with him freely freely mark the word freely give us how many things then the Bible says that they that have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, what is their heritage? They shall reign. Yet we do not see this thing happening. That means something is wrong. So deliverance is one of the mysteries that was allocated by the wisdom remember the bible says that it should be made to principalities and powers the manifold not one fold manifold the multifaceted wisdom of god deliverance is one of the expressions of the multifaceted wisdom of god so deliverance is concerned with experientially establishing and manifesting the victory and authority that we have in the Christ rather than physically fighting for it let me tell you where this fighting mentality came from and 
of course the bible says we should fight the fight of faith and all of that but i mean this kind of fight have you seen people go to sleep and they tell you ah i i fought and this and in a dream you saw yourself fighting the victory was almost there are we together then somebody woke you you get up with anger and annoyance and say i was about to, to stab the last snake and you woke me what kind of you are you are a wicked person watch this and then you go back to sleep again and sometimes the battle continues it is because of the way spiritual things act themselves that we have believed that just because in a dream or in a vision are we together some of you even wake up from that encounter feeling physically exerted so because of that scenario of acting we now believe that warfare is about physically trying to fabricate victory regardless of what you see or the way the expressions come in the spirit the word of god remains true that christ has won the victory are you are you with me now that's where the confusion comes from and especially for those who work very strongly in the prophetic ministry they have helped in no way to amplify this com this co this confusion because what you see if not balanced with mental transformation and a good word base you will confuse people i can stand right now and make a stand and look at doctor in a vision and in that vision i can be seeing him inside a pit are we together and now i say doctor you are in a pit it's not a lie but that is just a prophetic symbolism to mean bondage are we together by the time i engage in whatever mystery the victory may show as him coming out from the pit so over many years of seeing different scenarios i may now write a book or i may now propose a theology are we together where people now start physically fighting to manifest their victory and this is why satan reigns over us because he's a master of the sense realm he knows that what you can see will challenge you let me ask you a question what happened to you last week with your night prayer are you not shocked at the level of attack that amplified you see that it happened for many of us right i told you it will happen because satan is the master of the sense realm you wake up in the night and sleep and go back and the same experience of them oppressing you supposedly happens again some of you as soon as you finish you went back in fact for some of you that activity has been on break since you you became on serious with god but now that you just started a little prayer all of a sudden it came now let me tell you satan will use your senses and tell you the word of god claims this if god were so powerful where is it then you will now dance to the realm of the senses and say kai that means let me go back to sleep in jesus name i must go back for the battle to come you are already defeated there's no possibility of victory under that condition in this kingdom the only instrument listen carefully the only the saints don't fight our warfare is the warfare of taking advantage of the forces of the spirit allocated to us the force of the word the force of the blood the name of jesus and all of these mysteries listen very carefully to enforce i repeat enforce if the purpose of your engaging those things is to create a physical fight you are defeated already the devil will eat you up and and spit you watch this jesus is standing haven't walked on water to come peter says if it be thou listen carefully now bid me come and jesus says come peter gets up and started walking on water are we together now do you think while peter was walking on the water the water stopped being boisterous it still continued but it's just that because his focus was on jesus are we together that connection so the power that kept him on that water was not in his legs it was on the gaze of jesus are we together now the moment peter didn't stop walking on water he only shifted his gaze to somewhere else and his legs started going down for as long as his gaze was on jesus whatever the storm did now he's looking at jesus did not suddenly make the water quiet it was still boisterous but he was surprised that the water was not moving him 
the element for the victory was his connection with the eyes of Jesus not his ability to walk well for as long as his legs remain but he turned his attention the Bible said he saw that's what Satan wants you to see Satan is a master over the sense realm if he can deviate your focus to make you see the bulkiness of the challenges he will bring your faith down and strike you in a way that will affect you are we together God bless you thank you doctor We discussed access points last week that biblically speaking there are three main access points systems of authorization that Satan uses that demons use all occults all spiritism and any kind of extra physical manifestation of evil thrives upon these three platforms number one covenants covenants we discussed it last week i'm just giving us a quick review number one covenants a covenant is the most powerful of the three because i told you that a covenant is a system of authorization and that system of authorization can go beyond an individual that's what makes it powerful my obedience may affect me alone are we together but a covenant can allow me to do something um look at this Dr. Sean is here with his wife, Shade. Are we together? If I ask doctor and I say, sir, I want to come to your house. And he says, no. Then I turn to his wife and say, Shade, I want to come to your house. And she says, yes. The covenant of marriage. Are we together? If obeyed properly, I have a right to come to that house. And if he quarrels me and say, I thought I didn't invite you. I say, no, your wife who has also become one with you allowed me. You see why covenants are powerful because when you see satan veto certain things about you and comes is because he knows someone else you are connected to has authorized him are you getting what i'm saying now the same way in israel today i am not aware of many israelis who have come by themselves to call upon jehovah the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In fact, if you go to visit Israel, those who take Christians on a tour, the Jewish people are shocked that Christians are crying when they see some of these monuments. To them, it's tourism. They are waiting to be paid. And they see it just come. So this is the cave where my Savior laid. And you kneel down. And the Jew there is in shock. What kind of people are these? You are being emotional. You go near the wailing wall and you are crying and wailing for your sins and choking prayer points at the wall. And the guy is waiting for you to finish and just pay him his money. Yet, in the midst of it, you try to kill that Israeli and a covenant he's not aware of will arise and defend him. What kind of unfair thing is this? They farm on a mountain that should not grow, yet there is something that makes the earth to increase to them remember that person doesn't believe in jesus yet when god looks at them he sees abraham and sees the covenant the most feared nation on earth a little nation but indestructible by a mystery that even themselves they cannot understand the rabbinical institutes have spent decades studying what is the secret behind the immunity of the nation of Israel. Israel is my firstborn. God has made a covenant with the firstborn, the apple of his eyes, that he will kill and slay any nation because of a covenant. And it's an everlasting covenant that he has made. So when... Your grandfather was draining the blood of a goat near fire you were in the loins of prophecy but then he was saying look protect us and we contract this entire estate to you watch this then all of a sudden like I said last week some white missionaries from America just came and they said what are you guys doing they say for 150 years we have been serving this shrine they say no no we bring you good news of glad tidings jesus has come this is old we present to you jesus and then you embrace the gospel of salvation and you felt that peace in your heart 
you were happy you were glad i have received jesus two weeks later the missionaries started dying one by one remember they are the ones who got you born again and you were happy two weeks later your farm stopped producing as usual your peace was still in you you were happy and you love jesus then you decided to come together to pray and while you prayed and prayed and prayed you just found out that one of your child started running mad on the street listen brothers and sisters there are seven gospels jesus left with the church i'm not about to preach it now but the gospel of salvation is only one of them there is the gospel of the kingdom it is the gospel of the kingdom that reveals to you the keys of the kingdom they are not called the keys of salvation there is the gospel of the kingdom how you engage these mysteries to manifest that which is finished from the foundations of the earth i hate to be a bearer of bad news but it's just that many of us are not honest enough to look at our lives and look at our dear parents and look at our siblings one of our dear ladies she might be here i remember it was during was it during christmas or early new year this year her mother and and, and i'm sorry to just have to talk about it but her mother a godly woman was standing in church sir just like everybody wonderful woman of god in the presence of everybody looking at her in the house of god with the anointing of the spirit she fell down face forward in the presence of everybody and died right there prayer warriors came and prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened while that would happen her father paralyzed completely paralyzed completely in this place i'm not talking of another place when i heard that i said this is it this is it i must teach this this year this is it now do you know the family of that lady will almost beat you if you go to them with arrogance and say ladies and gentlemen look i don't know what you believe but that lady i think there are few people i know that pray like that lady in terms of consistency of the spiritual discipline of prayer what could be wrong what are we not seeing when jesus walked the earth it was not like that the invincibility of his victory was incontestable what is wrong with our understanding so covenant number two i taught us that the second access point is ignorance don't forget ignorance ignorance is a force in the spirit just like faith ignorance is a force it can cause things to happen in fact the bible calls a certain class of the demonic organogram rulers of darkness that means their domain of dominion is every time there is lack of illumination when they come to a life or they come to a physical territory where there is lack of spiritual illumination their dominion is activated they are called rulers of the darkness of this world not another world so they search for everywhere there is darkness in this world and that becomes their jurisdiction of authority archbishop benson idahosa was explaining the power of light and its ability to conquer darkness and he said that there was darkness in a land it was a story there was darkness in a land for many weeks and the people in that land went to the sun to complain s-u-n and they said son please help us there is darkness in our land and the son said you mean it darkness everywhere he said yes and then it the said the son said okay i'm coming to see the darkness and when the son came there for three weeks and found out there was no darkness he said i've been you people are wasting my time i've been here for three weeks and i can't find the darkness and they said for as long as you are here the darkness cannot come so there is light the light shines 
the light shines notice the bible never says the light appears in darkness uh -uh. it is not the appearance of light that takes away darkness it is the shining it is the shining not just the appearance the light shines in darkness the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not are we together number three disobedience disobedience having the readiness to judge all obedience all disobedience when your obedience is complete disobedience authorizes the gates of darkness the gates of hell to prevail over the sins very quickly let's look at levels of satanic influences blessed be the name of the lord is god speaking to someone tonight there are three main levels of satanic influences and that also includes the levels of satanic influences over the saints there is a dimension of satanic influence that cannot happen to you when you are in christ but there is a dimension of satanic influence that you can still be a victim of even though you are in christ let's look at it very quickly number one the first level of satanic influence and activity over mankind and creation is deception write it down deception the first level of spiritual attack over anyone at all is deception and this dimension can happen to both a believer and an unbeliever it was paul who was speaking um, um which of the church now help me it says galatia the church in galatia it says oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you he was talking to believers are we together the word bewitching there does not have to do with drinking blood and eating flesh to bewitch or witchcraft in this context means to cause a man to err using the tool of deception are we together so who has caused you to err by proposing a deceptive theology to you let's look at a few scriptures very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and verse 13 if we can run through it very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll, look, we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and 13 media please help us second peter chapter 2 and then we'll look at revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 the bible says and many shall follow their pernicious ways deceptive ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of the bible is talking of a kind of deception here are we together now i don't want to go into other uh, more modern version so that you see what pernicious there is but just know that he's speaking within the context of deception here go to verse 12 please 12 and then 13 it says but these paul is really i mean apostle peter here is really angry and he's using an expression that may even be considered offensive he said but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not speak evil of the things that they understand not it says and shall utterly perish in their own corruption that means that believers have been made to be deceived by the arrogance of bringing argument upon a doctrine you do not understand there are many people who would have been delivered but because they sat down under a preacher who believes in himself he's not been deceived took them away from the light that would have blessed them the bible says they speak evil of the things that they do not understand there is a level of deception where you take people away from the truth in an attempt to save them just because you do not understand the relevance of that body of truth to the church and there are many of us men of god who are victims of this there are many believers who would not have 
been in the kind of spiritual situations that they are in except that they sat down under our tutelage and under our mentorship and we vented volumes of our ignorance to their minds that derailed them from the path they were already following to liberty they followed us away from their breakthrough let's look at the second revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 again media please help us very quickly we are still looking at deception three verses here i found just to explain the different kinds of deception this is talking about the great dragon revelations 12 and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived how many the whole world so satan part of the system of establishing his dominion upon the earth and upon every territory is deception he deceived the whole world the bible says he was cast into where he was cast into where uh oh earth there's a problem the deceiver that deceives the whole world was thrown out of heaven unfortunately he landed here what do you think will happen here on earth deception so he comes to eve and manipulates eve comes to adam and says adam come let me tell you something did god really say that a b c d and adam said well he said we may freely eat of the fruit eve said this and that and that and then he said no there is something god is hiding from you god is hiding this i hope you know that satan never um, satan never wanted i used to think satan wanted to replace god no no satan didn't want to replace god he wanted to run a parallel government i will be like not i will be the most high the god continue your throne sit there i will also say, i want to sit by your right hand now you understand what happened to man satan wanted to sit let's let's go since since the word eloha elohim it is plural add me to the godhead that's what he wanted I am I have done too much I hope you know I, I like oh dear I don't want to go into the pre adamite dispensation but I hope you know when you begin to read Jeremiah chapter 4 I, I don't want to go there don't, don't don't go there media um for time's sake you you realize that Satan was sent as a representative of the love of God to the then civilization and the then creation what Jesus represents to our civilization was what Lucifer the light bearer the custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom he was sent he didn't just deceive a third of the angels are you seeing how powerful his deception is a third of the angels that are in heaven where God is they fell for him talk more of you and then he deceived the kings of the earth and he was thrown down to ashes and the kings and the nations lamented they say you have become like one of us jeremiah chapter 4 when you read you who brought the nations the bible says he weakened the nation that was his sin it was not just pride there was something he made that made the nations weak and now he has become like one of us and he raised up a lamentation then you begin to compare with other scriptures that's what led to the darkness that was in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. The judgment that God declared upon that then civilization. Satan. The first occupant I told you of the garden of Eden was not Adam. It was Satan. That was in Eden, the garden of the Lord. So when Satan was watching God recreate the earth and then put men there. Satan said, okay, God finish and go and let me come to the garden i'm used to he knew where to found to find eve he never said eve where are you it's god that said adam where are you satan always knows where to find them i know where frail human beings can be found let me tell you every man even from adam was born with the tendency to sin in iniquity jeremiah said did my mother he never said in sin Remember, it's iniquity that produces sin. Iniquity is a state of the heart. The propensity to be vulnerable towards a thing. That's why he said, um, subdue, replenish. He used the word subdue. In other words, be careful. There is a stranger. I don't want to tell you his story, 
but don't be surprised if you find out you are not alone in this garden and then satan came you think he came to eve one day no he had been coming ah eve so you are here today he said don't disturb me god is coming in the cool of the day he said okay let's talk eve satan's deception is so powerful remain small he would have gotten jesus read your bible <laughs> satan for you when satan took jesus up the mountain he tempted it on him on three things that re, that represent the dimensions for spiritual growth the first dimension was your personal need that's where the temptation started from jesus you are hungry remember part of the supplies of the powers of heaven is to help you satisfy your personal need so satan i mean jesus don't watch stones like this where you are dying of hunger the power of god is able to turn stones into bread do it and jesus said no and satan found out okay i see you are so obsessed with your assignment you have left the realm of your individualism into kingdom next temptation let's talk about the issues now that concern the agenda of god why routed the hard way all the kings that are in these systems i deceive them and place them there they are my boys bow to me and let me just give you their heart instead of routing through the cross and all this pain are you seeing satan now he left jesus for a season he said i'm coming notice he never came directly to jesus again satan for you the next time we see satan coming he's coming to peter remember the goal is to jesus then the next time we see him again judas then the next time in jesus's weakness he now comes and manipulates his mind and jesus for the first time says father is it possible that you take this cup off me and jesus said no nevertheless nevertheless not my way if jesus prayed that prayer the father would have granted him yes because he always hears me jesus said it at the grave of lazarus i thank thee father because you always hear me i ha i had to pray this in open so that they will know i'm not my my open prayer is not an act of unbelief i'm saying it to minister to them i thank thee because you always hear me if jesus stopped at that prayer the father would have said well i cannot be a demon to usurp your will you have chosen to abort redemption so let it be and that would be it he still will be the word but there is no longer fruits of redemption he will still remain till today as the firstborn of the begotten but thank god he endured and he has now become not just the only begotten but the first begotten of the father we being the proceeds of that salvation and the bible says that we have now been called into glory and virtue are we together there is a spirit that is driving you when you see favor coming to a man no there is a spirit that makes it happen there is an operation there is an anointing are you getting me now you can just be sitting down and then god will speak to you carry ten thousand naira and give a marker why didn't god say somebody should give to you there is something it's not just that okay god has spit no 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 if you understand this you will know how easy it is to walk in victory you don't focus on this physical body you focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's where somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what i'm saying now as a pastor the day the anointing is strong upon your life that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program you stand and preach your life out and everybody say kai we have seen what what god is doing through you and uh, as a family we really appreciate uh, by god's grace next convention will not forget you i assure you and you stand up and go but someone else the day he's coming somebody 
is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens the only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what everything of worth is planted are you getting what i'm saying favor does not just come a ministry does not just grow anointing doesn't just come revelation doesn't just come honor doesn't just come a man doesn't just become sick a man doesn't just become healed was it not in your bible listen that the trouble around daniel's life was the spirit of the medis and the persians is that not true it was happening physically through human beings but it was a spirit because it was under the influence of the 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 medis and the persians it was a spirit that made men to serve idols and now a man came called daniel and he was praying and his prayer was judging those spirits and so they could not influence the king and he made the king like daniel are you getting me now and the king's liking daniel made him to subscribe to the god of daniel and those spirits said no we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and daniel so one day you get up and somebody comes you you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jam your head you and your destiny helper and left it's not just that a neighbor came a spirit visited your compound using human vessels jammed the head of two people and left all of you together are you getting what i'm saying now a husband and a wife lovely people romeo and juliet the marriage is going well all of a sudden a spirit lands in that house and then something happens a woman who has been minding her business all of a sudden she looks at a text and doesn't see it properly and she thinks that she saw i love you to another woman she carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the holy spirit i mean the, the demon spirit will come again into the house something will happen that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it Joshua Selman's mother is a witch. This one, I saw it. The woman came with a knife. How many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards? And, and this is what many prophets see. And because they do not have discernment, 
are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy i refuse any other spirit from influencing my life i i, I don't have time for that i cannot be a victim for the the failure that is orchestrated look at joe one more scripture to prove this to you joe a man who loved god and eschewed evil but the bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens joe was not there oh a man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you your children are on the way thunder strikes them you just finished furnishing your house thunder strikes it your cattle die mysteriously notice all the deaths that happened there was one one people left to come and testify is that a testimony job i'm the only one who is alive this is what happened and then the meeting was held again and he said let's touch his body ah. so a meeting can happen watch this let's destroy this family and they conclude it you snore your way through the morning wake up and that's the last time you know peace in a long time you are a victim your body is only a victim tonight this is the this is the theme of this miracle service let me tell you when these spirits clear out of the way you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you all of a sudden you who nobody would call you you will receive a call the last time you spoke with that person was five years he did just call you the holy ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call every time they want to think about you a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering and when you come to us men of god we say it's okay don't worry things will change one day go better that, 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 no, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing Oh, fountains of the deep, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, listen, a man can wear the inner wears of a woman, watch this, and be moving on the street, and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him at the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that any two no no sit down pastor for me I promise you man. 
come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and Ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this, my footsteps what will he do he will run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants 
are powerful. That was the very same principle Jesus used to redeem man. Covenants. Covenants. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Covenants are powerful. Until they are broken, the spirits, the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the, of the covenants, even on the victims. Please believe what I'm saying. I prayed for too many people. I've ministered to too many people. I'm not telling you stories. I'm telling you what I was free from. Number two, ignorance. Ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people. Psalm 82 verse 5. Bless you guys, thank you. They know not, neither will they understand. They grow in darkness, confusion, ignorance. And as a result, the earth is out of course. But have I not said, verse 6, Yeah, God and all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Ignorance. Ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom. Ignorance of the principles of the kingdom. Ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit. Number three disobedience personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey god nothing happens no it's not about god doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the old testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight i want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and receive the slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site. That temporal site used to be a hospital. Are you getting the point? Where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen. I tell you, many students had encounters with strange beings. You are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds. Sounds that can give you a headache for a long time. I remember our school getting ultimate power. 
so that we will watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this, this nonsense. Many students were initiated into occultism because of that. But tonight, we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. That this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy, mommy, sisters and brothers, there is need to deal with certain things in our lives. I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God. Coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background. Your name can be Solomon. You will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed. That's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance. Listen, as we begin to pray, many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone. Really, when you understand this, you will know what a miracle is. A miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs. This is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose. Loose? He didn't say thou art healed. He said thou art loose. The moment the spirit left, he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body. And there she went. Remember that madman at Gadarin? That was an evangelist in a cave. Tearing himself into pieces. The moment the spirit heard that Jesus was coming, they were waiting for him at the other side. Hallelujah. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying. Praying seriously I was in the spirit. And I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to and where I stay and I didn't see that tree again I just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me Tonight we are going to cry to the King of Kings. I don't know if you came for this miracle service, especially for those who are family people here. You should never go back the same. You see the results of people, 4.8, 5 points. They have always had that ability, even when they were getting one point. It's a spirit that makes that happen. Don't let anyone fool you. You are not so daft. Human beings were created intelligent. When you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because I didn't read well. Is that really true? How many of you watch film twice to explain it? You sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife. And that was, you didn't read for it. Yet you spend six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that I didn't get it. It is the reason why you can read a novel of 1,000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the Bible because there is a spirit stopping you. If this was a novel some of us would say take this I will bring it for you 
next week Friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the Bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me jump up on your feet as we sing it one more time same power Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquer the grave. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Listen, deliverance therefore is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. The legal separation. Brothers and sisters, when that happens to you, then you will see gates open by themselves. When that happens to you, you will see realms of favor. All these things people pray on. You must challenge those spirits. You 
you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation Lord I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me the power that can challenge any altar the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft any generational cause one more time sing it that conquered the grave lives in me lives in Rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, say your love. hallelujah lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. 
Alléluia. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Embriakata. La teca tata, manto porotoskia, seketetete, embrokotoska riadaba. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle listen as this prayer goes on miracles will start immediately many of you will start getting reports from your body 
many of you will be open to visions right now lift your hands hallelujah my goodness there is such a heavy unction on me it's for deliverance tonight it must give way for you to move forward at the count of three hear me listen i want you to shout jesus at the top of your voice at the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction as you shout it fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Mata Labata. father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three second second i command covens i command altars i command spirits bring them out fire 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 brings deliverance tonight hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people vomiting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we have victim one two three a protos mokotos lekotos pronto tokote e riakata he must let you go he must let you go you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now He must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? Physically, physically. It appears to you. Physically. The lady is right here. Please come out. I don't know who that lady is. Physical snake. It appears to you. You see it. Ala barata toko to baradaba, shenderete kete le bosba, raka baroto supati na malada, 
let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now right now I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if I don't call anybody's case I'm going to pray for the sick I'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um, Aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies. God is giving people miracles. Miracles right now. Miracles right now. Miracles are happening right now. I'm seeing somebody. Listen. There is a growth. You came here with the growth at the back of your neck. Check it now. It has disappeared. Check it now. Now. And make your way to the front. Put your hand there and check it. You will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening I saw this same case in Kaduna this morning. Now, I'm seeing four people. Four people. There is one guy and three ladies. You have pile. Pile. For one of the ladies, when you go to ease yourself, it's as if you are giving birth. Blood comes out. Go and check yourself now. 
you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we're not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no oh. eh this you are asabe. please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give aaron let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the lord i am the girl who the man of god prophesied i have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are patient. talking, there is a lady who will come patient. strongly under the anointing outside. Please speak that lady and bring her as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma'am hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it started it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now Gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down praise the yes, lord yes please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god while he was preaching i was having peptic ulcer so peptic ulcer out, but while we started praying it left me and there's I'm one praying. more outside go and carry her Jesus. it left me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise the, praise the lord I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002, but um, 
Like when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. Sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games, please. Check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening as, as a point of contact. As a point of contact. I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump. I'm seeing one on the left, left side. Please check it, check it. When you receive a miracle, testimony is one way to seal it and keep it. The Lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. Help I, us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have this pen down my tomac here, but now I'm, I'm not feeling Completely okay. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? been Come long. on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My own is like I'm pregnant. It's become like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relieved and my stomach is In fact, open. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. Um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so I now shout the stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria but I can't feel it again Completely God. Yes. give Jesus praise it never returns again, yes please praise 
Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eye get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. Praise if Jesus prays, it never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So, I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, comes, comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Chica concerning pain. In the pain. Joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see the anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself, and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, when, um, it's okay. Um, there's okay. this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice like it's swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. And feel, now have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay Completely gone. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the spirit of fear as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name the of The spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced. I saw I've been that shaking, baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I've pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. 
the Lord is changing the story of your family. Listen, Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make her door, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her, please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that? When a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder yes. brother? What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. Is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia that the lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man he should be faithful to that man Amen. that man will bless him Amen. father let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus asabe gabriel oh your name is gabriel your name too is gabriel sir who is titi lion titi lion i'm hearing a name titi lion Please let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyo. I'm hearing the name Titi Lyo. Titi Lyo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir. It won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is not word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now. That you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear breakthrough for you sir this is what i hear the lord is saying i should announce breakthrough to you father i hold his hands and i announce breakthrough in jesus name praise the lord your mother is sick what's wrong with her she has been bleeding for the past one year bleeding you, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing. No, sir. You are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Cardinal. What's she doing? She's schooling at Cardinal. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is that true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God he raised. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, 
once they pray for you just check yourself and go back praise the Lord and then don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that if you came with somebody who is sick now is the time to bring them out while we are praying please arrange them now is mama's time all this all our mothers they can make their way now our God is an awesome God he reigns from heaven above with the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles, worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do mighty, you do glory, you do glory, you're a faithful God. God. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well done, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. I saw him. His legs are swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with my man. All of his children look at him except him. The same problem that Mama is having that is faithful. It's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, 
let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're oh God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faith. God, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That, do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Let's hear what this madam is saying. Sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village. Now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In the hem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. Yes, this is look at look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind on his head. You you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding ego to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are. Or oh, you are still with those your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands forget about the wound lift it up careful you broke the hand oh it can't lift oh i see no 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 if you can't lift, don't don't harm yourself i thought you broke your bone that's why i was asking you to lift it father let there be a miracle right now in the name of the lord jesus christ god bless you and anybody who smokes it go in this place if you know you smoke it go or codeine altar once i make the altar call just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is here. out
out.
right now at the same time an altar call is co- as an altar call will be going those who need jesus christ you are here right now inside and outside 
there are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies the ones that i spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of god don't feel bad we're a family and any other person there are those who are saying lord i'm tired of the way my life is i need a new beginning as we pray please come and wait here join this lady very quickly celebrate them as they come inside and outside please let's save time celebrate them as they come inside and outside god bless you a new beginning god is giving you a new beginning don't be ashamed don't be embarrassed you are saying lord jesus i make up my mind to walk with you god bless you god bless you koinonia are you celebrating them god is saving sinners keep coming from outside please clear the way for them if they are coming salvation is a very serious issue clear the way for them so that they'll come don't let any devil stop you you are welcome i know we're out of time but please make your way to the front right now make your way to the front we love you no man condemns you he can give you a new beginning hallelujah hallelujah i salute every one of you here i don't care what you have done or what you have not done i want you to know that his majesty can give you a new beginning hallelujah lift your right hand and say after me say lord jesus i believe in you i believe you died and rose again i'm tired of the way my life is i surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my lord and savior let your life come upon me i break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today i'm a child of god i am saved in the name of jesus let me pray for you lord i thank you for these ones unashamedly they have come before you preserve them by your power in the name of the lord jesus i pray that you will use them mightily in the name of jesus i break the power of sin over your life you will never return especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking you will never return to it again in the name of jesus christ that power is broken from off your life in the name of jesus christ now i want you to follow a gentleman they will have your details and then on tuesday unfailingly please be around um meet with the prayer department and um, we'll fire you up you'll be with them for at least a month they will guide you the gentleman is waving his hand salute them everybody congratulate them stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute please everybody rise we're rounding up stretch your hands towards a prayer request your request is here begin to speak prophesy prophesy over it in the name of jesus christ prophesy over it prophesy over it lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence Manda prendo so so prida bala da basca pratica de bele de bos. Prato so preteca te bele de bos. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah. responsible for any setback. In the name of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ and you will stand to testify before the people of god in the name of jesus christ i pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of Jesus 
may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion i arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of jesus christ for those who are students i pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the lord jesus christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now please believe me as i pray we release those jobs right now in the name of the lord jesus christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ extraordinary intelligence I cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death I rebuke it from your life in Jesus name and every depression upon your spirit I release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you passion for the things of God hunger for intimacy with the Holy Spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hallelujah we hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain